Here it is everybody, another flashlight review. This one is Duracell, like all the others, purchased at Costco. There's the item number over at the top, 1600258. If you were a shopper at Costco, you probably saw this on sale in the last couple days. So I'm going to talk about this flashlight in a minute. If you follow my channel, you've probably seen the videos. I purchased this one at Costco. This is the 350 lumen. I believe a 100 watt light bulb is something like 1300 lumens or maybe 1500. So this gives you an idea. This really isn't that bright. It's a small little flashlight. Serves its purpose. Um, not really that bright at night. Perfect in the house. It's got the little flash. This does not have the focus on there. Then I've got the 1000 lumen, so that's probably 80 watts or something like that, and it's got the button on the back. I really wish that they would start putting buttons on the side like they used to, because how many people walk around holding a flashlight like this? So they don't do that. This has got the switch on the back. We have high, low, flash, and off. This is wonderful. I have used this many a time when the fire alarm has gone off where I live and I go outside stand uh, on the sidewalk and when I see the fire truck I go and I do this and they see me blocks away and they know where to come into. The nice thing about the thousand lumen is, let's do that, is has the focus so when you are outside you can go wide and get a really nice bright light. I also I believe did a video I think it was the 500 or 750 I left those at my mother's house she's got those two flashlights and then I did a video, they came out with another flashlight recently, I did a video on that one, and I think it was 1200 watts. Most of the complaints online were that they got rid of the focus, and that's the whole joy of this flashlight, is having the focus, so you can stand outside and go narrow to wide. So I returned that flashlight, and while I was at Costco today, I saw this on sale for $7 off, which let me tell you what I notice about this flashlight. What I will say is I will be leaving an affiliate link in the video description. Hopefully they sell this on Amazon. Yes, I put affiliate links in my video descriptions. It helps me get a little bit of money from Amazon where people purchase from them. So if this is available at Amazon, I will leave a link there. If you are a member of Costco, you'll probably find this there. Do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, and all that other cool stuff that we say. So I saw this at the store today and what caught my eye was the 2500 lumens which means that this is maybe 150 to 200 watts of a light bulb for people that use the old incandescent bulbs before they came out with the LEDs so this is probably going to be very bright 2500 watts I said I like that the size this is not going to be an easy thing to carry if you're walking the dog but when I go out there and I walk the dog I want to have something substantial to protect myself. This is not the greatest protection, but it's substantial. It's big enough that I can use it for something better than that little one that I showed you. And when you're walking a dog, and if another dog comes towards you, you need something to protect you. If somebody comes towards you, you want something. Being barehanded, unless you're trained uh, to take care of yourself, barehanded with a leash or just barehanded outside on the street, uh, you feel kind of naked after a while once you start carrying flashlights. It's good if you see an animal, if you see a raccoon, you need to shine the light to get the animal away. A flashlight at night is very good. If you see some people and they see the light come on, they kind of wonder why do you have that and they back away. So a flashlight at night is very good. 2500 lumens, I like that. What did I see over here? I saw variable focus LED light. I like that also. Three modes. It looks like we have the wide mode, which I wanted, so that's the focus. The narrow, I'm hoping that this is the wide and the narrow, and we have the flashing light. If you don't have the flashing light, you probably don't need it, but it's as I said, it's a really nice feature at night. Somebody is going to notice a flashing light when you're out there. This thing comes with one, two, three, four, five, six. This comes with 12, 12 AA batteries, 12 AA. So the price of the batteries alone is almost equivalent to what you would pay for the whole flashlight on sale. I don't know if it needs all 12. I will say that some of the other flashlights that I just showed you, they use C-cell batteries. C-cell batteries are expensive. They are heavy. They are not that easy to, uh, to purchase. 
They cost a little bit of money. All of us can get a hold of AA batteries. Very easy to buy. You can buy them multiple packages and it's really easy. If you're looking for the weight to use this to protect yourself, the Seesaw uh, flashlight is going to have more weight. I'm going to take this out of the package now. We're going to see what this is, if it uses all of these, and if I'm going to keep this thing or return it. That's the back of the package. What does it show? 2,500 lumens on full brightness, two and a half hours, I believe. Is that it? 35 hours if you go down to the low setting of 200 lumens. Um, 200 meters, I guess that's the distance. The other one is 69 meters. And I don't know what the heck this is. 1,000 CD or 1,200 CD. I don't know what that means. Um, let's plug it in or let's start it up and test it out. Take it on the road. Shut off the camera to unbox it and I saw this and I went, are you kidding? Finally, a company that is making it easy to unpackage something? Oh, okay. Well, that, not that great. <laughs> but... Is that what this is all about, to make it easier for me to unpackage in case I have to return it? Um, so the idea was kind of neat, but let me turn off the camera and finish opening this. That was it. I got it opened. Hi, right, it's about time. Thank you, Duracell, for doing this. It's nice to see a company that's making things easy to unbox for our unboxing videos on YouTube. That's really the only reason they did it, is for YouTube people, right? Okay, so this is a big flashlight. This is a beefy flashlight. Wow. <laughs> this is huge. I've got this out of the package and I said, is this metal like the others? Because the others are metal. They feel like metal. How long is this thing? This is one foot long, 12 inches long. So I want to see if this is metal. I don't know how they can sell this as metal. This is metal. I don't know what kind of metal, but this is definitely metal. This is incredible. Yikes. There's the zoom feature over there, which I want to see how bright this is. This is a really nice flashlight. Let's open up the back. Okay, everyone's going to say you could have done that video in two minutes. That's the back. What the heck is this? I don't know how to put in the batteries. Maybe you do it from the front? That's kind of weird. That's interesting, though. Um, we've got the button on the back. That probably turns it on and off, and the press button. So let's try this again. Unscrew the back of it. Let me take the back off. There's the battery holder over there. Um, looks like we have negative, the flat side going in that area, the flat side going in that area, and the flat side is going to be going on this side. So let me put in the batteries and show you what that looks like. There we can see plus, 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 minus, minus, minus. Make sure that you put these in the right way or you're not going to have full power. Minus, and then we have plus. Where's that plus? I don't see the plus. I do see the plus over here. I see the plus over here. I see the plus over here. And there's the plus. Now I'm going to insert this back into the flashlight. I don't even remember which way it came out, so I don't know which way it's supposed to go in, but I'm sure it only goes in, in one direction. And, yeah, I wasn't paying attention, but it appears that it will go in in both directions. Is it going to go in in both directions? Looks like it's going to go in. Let's put on the back, and we'll see what happens. I'm very excited now. I'll turn this on. And let me see if this goes on. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the lights in the room. I have a light in the background. I don't want to turn that off right now. So I'm going to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is incredible. This is powerful. Man. Yeah, that's bright. Okay, now if you press it, it will go off. If you press lightly once it's on, that's the flashing. So they said that if you press lightly, it will switch, but I don't know if that's true. Maybe you turn it on and it will turn off when you press the button. There it is. Light. Full, full brightness. Wow. Okay, so you have to press really light. And if you hold it down, then it goes off. I've got the light on now. Let me turn off the light. 
we are in pitch darkness. Now this is 20 feet away. Okay, you can see that's 20 feet away looking across the room where I can zoom in or zoom back. I'm going to go in. That's full bright. This is so bright. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this. That is full wide. That is narrowed down. I'm going to go to the lower one. Um, I'm feeling over here on the front of the flashlight. It's definitely, there's some warmth there. This is 200, this 200, what did it say? 2,500 lumens. You're going to have heat here because you've got, I would definitely not put this on a car seat because you're, you've got heat that's going to be coming out of here. You got a really bright lamp. That's full brightness. That's lower brightness. That's flashing. Now let's go zoom wide. That's full brightness. Unbelievable. Lower brightness. Flashing. Let me turn this off now. This flashlight is pretty darn incredible. This thing is first off a foot long and if somebody sees you walking around with this they're gonna say this person really means business I don't want to get near them and when they see the brightness of the light they're gonna go wow this thing is very bright um, if you're looking for a tiny little thing to put in your purse you're gonna be carrying a big purse to use this thing uh, for the price even if even if this was not on sale at Costco this is worth buying this is really a good product I just looked on line on Amazon. The last one I think I did, you can check my channel, I believe was the Duracell 1500 watt and it was the low, medium, uh, high and I think flashing but it did not have the zoom feature and I think that's why a lot of people took it back. They do not sell the 2500 lumen on Amazon but if you're a member of Costco I would appreciate it if you would still click on my affiliate link, any of the affiliate links, just so it will help out uh, my channel a little bit. Or if you want to donate, that would be awesome. And if you're not a member of Costco, I would find a way to get in there and buy this thing while it is available. The Duracell DuraBeam 2500, the 1600258, the low and high and flashing 2500 lumen flashlight. This thing is a heck of a purchase. I would say if you were a member and you're watching this, get into the store while you can and buy a bunch of these things before they sell out. This would be an awesome holiday gift. You don't have to make social contact with anybody. You ship this to your friends, ship this to the family. This is a really good price. It's a very good price and it's a good quality flashlight. Uh, when I touched the tip over here, I did not feel any heat, but I only had it on for a couple minutes. I did feel heat coming out of here. That's obviously why this is metal, to heat sink all the warmth that's going to be coming from this extremely powerful flashlight. This is a good deal. Thank you again for watching.